Keaton, we talked to you uh, when you first enrolled, now after spring ball. Has this been what you expected, these, these 15 practices going into it? Yeah, yeah. Um, you know, try not to set certain expectations, try to like let it come to you. But um, I think, you know, everyone's really impressed me here. The teammates, uh, the coaching staff, again, didn't know who those he was going to be until, you know, I got on campus. But um, you know, everyone's really just impressed me and uh, just really glad to be a part of things here. I guess what has that relationship with, you know, Signetti been like? You said you didn't know who the OC was going to be, but you start to get to know him a little bit, get to know his offense. I mean, is it is it comfortable for you now, or are you still working through it? Yeah, yeah, really comfortable. He's a, a great mentor, knows a lot about the game, and, uh, you know, I've really gotten to spend so much time with him in the film room and, uh, you know, watching our cut-ups of practice, but also watching NFL cut-ups of, uh, you know, the best guys in the world doing it. And that's that's been so great for me to experience, to see, you know, the best players in the world do the thing, same thing that you're doing on the field every day, certain concepts. Hey, this is Eli Manning running drive. This is Aaron Rodgers throwing, you know, this concept. It's uh, it's really cool, and it's the same thing that we're being taught. And, uh, you know, Sig's been around a lot of good ones. What's the dynamic kind of being in a uh, position battle with Nick? Um, he talks about how he feels like it's almost iron sharpens iron. You kind of take that same sort of thing, like being pushed is helping you grow a little bit? Yeah, definitely. I think uh, for me, at least, you know, my mindset is just to get to, to be the best player you can be. Um, you can't control, you know, how well other people in the competition do. Um, so again, my mindset has always been, you know, you know, compete with yourself and be the best player you can be and control what you can. Um, in terms of like the relationship, I think that's the, the most impressive thing out here is um, all the guys have been so great. Nick's been awesome. Um, you know, it feels like we're a bunch of friends out there playing football and uh, been a part of some rooms where that's definitely not the case. So uh, it's it's a really good room and, and Nick's great and Joey's great. They're all they're all really good group of guys. Am I surprised at all by that? That that, that camaraderie. Um, once I got around the team, no, because I think everyone's like that here. Um, I think it's really easy for a football team to get kind of clicky. Um, there's a lot of guys on the team, 110. Uh, it's easy to have certain groups here and there, but this is uh, this is a legit team and everyone. Uh, feels like one big family, and it's it's really an honor to be a part of that. What's it like coming into a team that just had so much success? I mean, guys are getting their championship rings from last year. You kind of sit there in the corner like, all right, I guess I'll, I'll hang out here. What, what's that dynamic like? Uh, definitely some motivation. Me and Coach Underwood were, were kind of sitting next to each other thinking, man, we need to we need to get one for ourselves, get everyone else too. So uh, it's, uh, it's great, and the energy's great. You know, the guys are excited, but the thing is, you know, we're not complacent with that. We want to get even better, and we want to go strive for bigger and better things. And um, you know, that's a championship mindset, and that's what we have here. And again, really, really fortunate to be a part of it. As a new, as a new guy, how, what, how important is the summertime going to be for you guys getting the connection going with your pass catchers? Huge, huge. I think uh, really leading up to the spring, we did a lot of throwing going into the spring, and that was that that let us, um, you know, lent us a hand in terms of getting timing down. Um, but now that we know the offense, uh, it's a lot of it's in. You know, we might not saw it all today, but a lot of it is in. So during the summer, I think that's huge for us to get more and more comfortable with receivers. A lot of our quick calls, getting lined up, getting set, knowing the details, and all the lot of small details in this offense. Um, but the summer, you know, we have all the time in the world to refine it and get better and get timing down, and uh, that's gonna be a huge aspect for us. But again, um, it's a lot easier now that we know the offense. How did you feel about your progressions today? You know, you've been learning the offense and everything, but. You know, just your comfort level in knowing when and where your eyes had to be and what you what your guys were trying to do. Because also, I mean, you're not working with the, all the receivers that you've been throwing to all three. Yeah, um, it's comfortable and difficult at the same time. You know, because um, you know you know all the reads and progressions. I think that stuff's easy. But you're also working with uh, Jonathan. <laughs> it was a John Diviaso was our OC day. So I'm trying to work with him to figure out personnel wise what should we run. This isn't going to work with the guys that we have, but in this personnel, maybe we should run this. So I think that was more of the battle today was uh, trying to guess. And you know, we have a lot of great plays in our playbook, um, but when you kind of cut the teams in half, you know, you have to find the strengths of your team and uh, what you can and can't run. And that was that was probably the biggest difficult today. But again, we didn't have a whole lot up, so you know, I feel pretty. And in general, with the whole offense, I feel pretty comfortable with everything. I'm guessing one of the reasons you picked Pitt or know it coming in is there was a lot of weapons here, but I'm guessing you probably didn't know a whole lot about Daniel Carter before you got to camp. I mean, what are your impressions of him? Super impressed. Yeah, there was a, that was the big attraction for me was all the receivers and, and weapons and even the guys in the backfield. But a guy I didn't know a whole lot about was DC and uh, shoot, obviously wins the award, but uh, he's been super impressive. And he's, again, like he said, when he was up here, he's 
he's picked up so much. Um, we can put him anywhere we feel like we can put him at like an F position, fullback in the backfield. He's a good pass catcher. Um, great after the catch, you saw it today, and after you know after contact. So, really, the more guys that you have that can kind of step in and do all these different things is the better. And uh, he's a perfect embodiment of that. And he's a really great player and um, really smart player too. Especially in this offense, the more you can pick up, the more you can handle, the more you're able to do, and the more you're able to be on the field. When you came to Pitt, you probably had an idea that this uh, team had been known for a pretty good pass rush for the last couple of years, but this was the one time that you're out there and they're coming after you. So what was it like seeing that firsthand and uh, trying to run away from those guys? Yeah, well, I see it every day in practice. It's uh, it's legit. Um, we have great depth here. Uh, I was saying the guys on the sideline, you know, it's like our 2D line is just because I think a lot of schools, number one D line, it's uh, it's really impressive to see what coaches built. And uh, it's, uh, it's good to go against that in practice because, you know, if you feel like you're going against one of the best D lines in the country when you go on on game days, um, there's only so many of those D lines out there. So uh, really fortunate to get out after them at practice. And uh, yeah, they're, they're a really talented group. You talked about a change of mindset. And that, you know, what do you feel like this team's goals for this season are? Like, what, what, are, what are you guys talking about as far as how good this team can be and, and where it can go? Yeah, I think, I think the sky's the limit for this team. We have a lot of, uh, a lot of aspirations. Again, they talk about winning the ACC. We talk about winning the ACC. But um, again, you can go further than that. You know, you can talk about a lot of great things, but uh, we have to get the details right. We have to get a lot better this offseason. Um, you know, if we do that, I think the sky's the limit. So a lot of the, you said a lot of the offense is in. Obviously, we didn't see a lot of it today. But Percentage-wise, I mean, how much of you know Signetti's playbook do you think is in already, and how much do you guys still have to uh, get through in terms of installs? Yeah, I'm not sure if we have a certain percentage. There's definitely some more stuff we want to get in, but I think the bulk and the system is kind of in to the point where if we put in a new play, it fits into our system and it's pretty easy to pick up. Um, yeah, I don't know if I can give you percentage. Probably that Sig on that. Uh, he he probably like to put in a ton more plays, but sometimes he likes to dial back and make it easier on us. But uh, we have a good amount of stuff in. I think. You know, in terms of offense that I've run, this is just as much as, if not more than, than I've been a part of um, in terms of bulk of offense. So we have a lot of stuff in, a lot of good stuff, um, but there's still you know, p potential to add more, and I think we're going to.